here's what I want to say about this thing. And then we take some more call, but I want to hear from my experts. Um, I've been saying for 30 years that white people need to speak up. 30 years. I've been writing about it. You can check it out on uh, Warren Net Daily and other places. I've been saying to white people, white people, y'all need to speak up because there will come a time where you're going to come out fighting in the wrong way. Y'all need to speak up now so we can solve these situations in the right way. And I said that black people are suffering not because of racism. That's a lie. They're suffering due to the lack of more character, the destruction of the family. And they have been they don't believe in God anymore. And they have been used by other people. They don't realize it. And to cater to them and go along with affirmative action and all that mess will only add into the problem. Like white people speak up. It's okay. And Chris is getting the phone for you, folks. He'll be with you in a minute. Uh, um, I'm like, it's okay to disagree with white, with black people. Don't give in to them. They're wrong. Tell them about it. Because they're not getting the truth in the homes. They're not getting it in their schools. They're not getting the truth in their churches. They're not getting it anywhere. And white people did not speak up. And then we traveled down the road. Uh, black started to, well, first the black was asking for affirmative action and all that. And black, white people like, oh, okay, it's slavery. Y'all can have that. And that wasn't enough for them. And then they said, hey, we are not uh, smart enough or work hard enough to do it ourselves. We need your jobs. Let us in. And the white people like, oh, okay, we, we love y'all. Come on in. And then we traveled down the road. The black people start knocking white people out. We're going to their business in broad daylight and rob and steal the business right in front of them, run out and have it on video, put it up on the net. White people, oh, they're so cute. They're doing it because of slavery. <laughs> I'm like, white people, no, 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 no. Y'all got to speak up. Don't be afraid. The worst thing you can have in life is fear. You only bring out the hell in your enemy when you have fear. Don't fear. God is with you. And so they start knocking out the whites. And there was barely any information reported about that. Barely none if, if they did something. White people are like, no, no. I'm like, white people, speak up. Speak up before they force you to come out fighting in the wrong way, and then you're going to regret that. And so the white people did not speak up. And then Antifa, and I mean, Black Lives Matter came along, worse than the KKK. And they burned down white people business. And they stole their stuff from the whites. And then they start marching, marching in the white people community saying, oh, white people. We want you to come out of there. That's our house. And now I'm like, white people, as we travel down this road, you better speak up. We're going to have South Africa in America. Oh, no, it's due to slavery. White people still didn't speak up. And it just brought out the worst, even more so, in the blacks. And now black people have placed radical blacks in position of decision making in our government in our police departments. And there is like all out war on white people now. And so now, as we saw in D.C. yesterday, the whites are coming out fighting. And this is exactly where the blacks want you. Exactly what they want you to do. If you notice, there was little or no complaint all year, 2020, about burning, looting, stealing, and killing from the blacks, from the whites, from the media. Some wh white people complain in private, right? And the media and other. Nobody said a word. Let them do it. Oh, y'all need to bow down to them. Kiss their feet. Wash their feet. There were white people from a church in Michigan somewhere, I believe, washing their feet. Praising Black Lives Matter all under the pretense that George Floyd thing was, George were innocent. 
Everybody else is bad. And now you've allowed these people to get into government decision making. They got you. And now that you've gone out and did what happened in, in D.C. yesterday, they're going to take away your freedom of speech. They're going to take away your Second Amendment. They're going to eventually take your home without compensation. It's over for you. Look how all these Democrats and the media and everybody coming out cursing and, and attacking white people. Even the right old Republicans. They're attacking the whites. They were saying things like, Black Lives Matter represented an active, uh, some stupid woman by the name of Corey Bush, a Democrat from uh, Missouri, said that the event were due to white supremacists. They never said black supremacy. And, and, and right in front of us, tearing down statues and monuments. White people didn't speak up. God keeps sending you a boat, but you won't take it. You didn't take it. And you're waiting for his help. He keeps sending you help. Speak up now. I am with you. Speak up now. You'll be fine. Love me. This is God. Love me with all your heart, soul, and might, along with anything else. I'll be with you. Love your neighbor as yourself, meaning don't hate, right? The white people didn't love. They love their stuff. They love their lives. They love their uh, character. They love everything more than God. Look where you're at. They got you now. Now, God is still with us, and we can still overcome this. But they got you where they want you. They wanted you to do what you did yesterday up in uh, uh, Washington, D.C. It doesn't matter if Antifa were involved or not. It was white. They're going to call you white supremacists. They're going to blame the great white hope for not. Great white hope is to blame for this, right? They're going to pass laws. They got you. They're coming for your guns. They're coming from your, for your speech. They're coming to ban you on everything they can, shut you down. Because you've done play right into their hands. And that's why I've been saying that all things, all things must be done in stillness in order to see how to win the war within yourself, the battle, and within others outside of you. All things, when you get angry, you lose, and they'll push you to anger because you didn't speak up. You didn't get involved. You didn't vote out these people. You let the blacks in. You let Obama in, trying to cater to evil. You can't cater to evil. When people know, I don't care what color they are, when they know you care about anything, they're going to use that to destroy you. And that's what's happening to white people. They got you where they want you now. So get ready for a bumpy ride this year, the next four years. And the rhinos, they're not going to help you. The rhinos are cowards, too. And they have special hidden agendas for themselves, money and so-called power. So what I suggest, and um, what was the name of the call from North Carolina just now? Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah. Um, uh, I forgot, but John, I believe, or James or something. You know, I wrote down that a peaceful protest is greater than a, a, one of those mob protests that we've been seeing all year with Black Lives Matter and Antifa. Mob, justice mob, a mob by justice or whatever, justice by mob. A peaceful protest is better than that. And he was right about Gandhi. I made a note. Gandhi had the right idea. As a matter of fact, Martin Luther King Jr., something happened along the way. I don't know because I wasn't with, in his mind. But he learned to do the so-called civil rights movement in a peaceful way by visiting and talking to Gandhi and getting ideas from him of how to do that. Because Gandhi was very successful in India with his peaceful protest. Everything that's done in stillness will always work out well for you because God is with you. He will guide you. He will allow you to see how to do it. And you don't, it doesn't look like it'll work. It will work. That's why you must endure. It will work, but you must endure. You got to overcome this anger. And white folks, you can't blame anyone but yourself as to what has happened and is happening in America because you did nothing.
What the? <laughs> you went along with evil. You went along with the blacks. Trying to appease them. You can't do that. Evil is serious. And its whole mission is to destroy. There's no love in anger. None. You are not allowed to hate anyone. Judge anyone. And have peace in your own life. It's just not going to work. The founding fathers, the framers of this country knew that. That's why they put God first. God meant more than anything else to them. Otherwise, we wouldn't have America. We would have, it, it may be here, but it was already been screwed up. But it was done with the light and the help of God. We got to come back to that. We got to bring Christianity back. And white people, you can't blame anyone. You can't even blame the blacks because you let them do it. You can't blame any Antifa. You let them do it. And that's how it is in our own personal lives. We can't blame anyone. We have to go through it. You must endure. In the scriptures it says, when tribulation come, we should rejoice in tribulation because tribulation works with patience in your life. You got to work with you first, then you can deal with what's around you. And there were wars in America that, you know, in the past, but they were defeated because the people did it in the name of God. They were calm. They were able to see how to fight the physical battles that have happened in this country. We've lost that. We've lost it. It's time to come back to that. You got to get over the anger so you can get over the fear. And once you get over the fear, you can see the right way to fight all battles, your personal battles, as well as your outside battles that are inside others. You see who your enemies are. You see who your friends are. And you see who your fa real family members are. But God said your true family are those who have been truly born again of him. Those who return to the father. Those are your true family members. But you can't blame anyone, white folks. I guarantee you, and I'm not God, but I know that had you start speaking up years ago, not just 30 years ago, but a couple of years ago, we would not be in this situation today. We would be on top and not the bottom. We would be winning and not losing. But you don't trust God anymore. You've been allowed your children to be demoralized, brainwashed and dumbed down in the schools. And now you have white millennial kids and some Z's fighting against their own interest, fighting against themselves with the enemy Believing that the enemy is going to help them. It's the darnest thing I've ever seen. But the enemies will turn on them. If you doubt me, go to South Africa and ask the whites over there that went along with the blacks. Those blacks turned on the whites over there. Those that was marching along with them. Because that's what Eva does. Eva has no love for anyone. Not for the person it makes a home in, and not for your children, not for your wives or your uh, neighbor or anyone. Evil cannot love. What's the? You can't trust an angry person, period. You can't trust an angry person, so never try. You got to be of love so you can fight. White people, you did not speak up, and now it's here. The government, they. They elected something like 222 LBG people or something? Yes. Was it LGBT? Openly, openly LGBT, gay or trans. 222. To public office. To public office. That include police departments, uh, city councilmen, mayors, congressmen, senators. and senators. In a Judeo Christian nation. 222. What do you think the outcome is going to be? They elected Black Lives Matter people in our government. What do you think the outcome will be of that? The laws that will be passed against white people. 
There are blacks in the UK, I believe, that want to pass laws that if someone is found to be so-called racist, they want to put you on the internet. Right? Am I right about that? Like List a racist it. registry. A race a racist registry like they do with so called child molesters and all that. That's for white people. They're not gonna put the blacks on there unless blacks are not going along with the okie doke. Because any black that stand up for what is right, they the other blacks see them as an enemy as well. Anyone that's on the side of good, you're an enemy to evil. It doesn't matter the color. So white people, you brought this upon yourself. You can't blame God. You can't blame Black Lives Matter. You can't blame anyone but yourself. You even send your kids to the schools, pay buku money so they can be brainwashed. Because we've been talking about the brainwashing stuff for years. And yet, nothing changed in the school. You still sent them to the schools and paid for it. Now your kids are brainwashed. They hate Christianity. They hate their parents. There are parents who are afraid to even t speak of black people in the homes because their children may go out and tell it. In America, this is not in Russia or China, even though it's happening over there in China. It's happening in America. Your freedom is almost gone. Wake up. This is your fault for not speaking up, for not voting these people out, for not telling black people you're wrong. I'm not your problem. It's not about racism. You have no character. We're not giving you free stuff. You can't force us to give you a job. Are you stupid? But no, you gave it to them. They tore down monuments and flags. And you said, oh, and put up some stupid black woman, so-called underground name. What the? It's insane. You let the evil run over you because you love things more than God. You love your life more than God. And whenever you put anything else or anyone else before him, he is not your God. And that's what it means to be a jealous guy. He'll just let you kill yourself or get killed. And Donald Trump came along, the great white hope. He did his best. He stood stood and stood even when the people in his own administration were turning against him the rhinos he couldn't trust anybody hardly but he stood for us and if he said one of those things that you thought was wrong or the media said were wrong you turn on Donald Trump what the and go along with the enemy now the media is against you. You can't trust the media at all. You can't believe one thing. You can't trust the net, the internet. and all. You just can't. Nobody. You can't trust the government. You can't even trust your family member. You get the Chinese bar, you're out of there. You have your family over for dinner, it's over. We got to bring Christianity back. We got to love one another. And love means don't hate. Then you can see how to deal with evil. It's just the way it is. And they want you to be angry and they want you to overreact. And they knew that as long as you didn't push back, speak up and get involved, that you would become angry and do what happened in D.C. And you hear how they say white people. Why the cop didn't do it? Because of white people. What other quick one I want to make, bring for you. This Black Lives Matter representative she called it white supremacist um this is f this is a stupid female by the name of corey bush a democrat out of uh missouri listen what she said about it for bright bar why is this and had it been people who look like me had it been the same amount of people but had they been black and brown we wouldn't have made it up those steps. We wouldn't have made it to be able to get into the door and, bu and bust windows and go put our feet up on desk of Congress members. We wouldn't have made it that far. We would have been shot. Yeah. We would have been tear gas. We would rubber bullets. That would have happened yeah. before we made it there. We need to call it what it is. It's white supremacy. It was white privilege. And it was the call of 
our president. And it was encouraged by our Republican colleagues. And that is why every single one of them, especially because they have been the ones trying to steal this election. That's why we are calling for them to be removed. They should not be seated. Amazing. So she's in, to interpret that. We need to take away their Second Amendment. We need to take away their freedom of speech. We need to ban them from every platform on this side of heaven. We need to expose them every time they pee. Well, piss. No. No. Use the other one. Oh, Go back. Pee. Thank you. <laughs> He's black. <laughs> <laughs> She's totally lying. But because what the cops didn't go out to Black Lives Matter when they were tearing down monuments and flags and climb up on poles and then at the White House and all over D.C. graffitiing the city up and burning and yelling and stealing and robbing. The cop didn't do anything. She's lying. But they're in, in control now. They have, by force, they have taken over. May God have mercy upon America. Oh, uh, let's see here. You too. This is from you too. John Gallagher ask, ask, how can you speak up with a muzzle in your mouth? What does that mean? I don't even know. That means they're imposing on the whites' freedom of speech. Anytime a white speaks up, they get their um, right. social media taken away. And because all stuff. whites have allowed this to happen seventy years since I've been on Earth. Whites have not spoken up. Well, they used to when I was in Alabama, but out here in L.A. and all over the last 30 years, let's do it that way, since I've been aware, they have not spoken up before they put the muzzle on their mouth. Had they start speaking up right away, it wouldn't have happened. They take away a little bit, a little bit when they find out you're afraid. You encourage people to destroy you when they know you want something from them. When you stay peaceful within and fight your battle in the right way, you can win because God is on your side. Really, peaceful protest is better than mob by Justin. But when you get angry, it look like you're doing the right, the right thing. But you don't realize you're falling right in the hands of the, into the hands of the enemy. And it's it isn't just Antifa because we've seen no. we've no, we know people personally who've gone a little nuts and yeah. talked about oh the guillotine or the hang em or whatever. Yeah, and. You it's can't ridiculous. see you can't know. see what you're doing for when you're angry. I'm telling you, anger is evil. That's why God said you must return to the Father. And then you return to love, and you can see how to do things. You won't hate anyone. You deal with all things in the right way. <clears throat> and I disagree with Joel. He not he's black. When Joel said the president was wrong by saying, I understand. I totally understand too. I see the temptation why you should be, you, you you you're angry or you shouldn't be angry, but I see what happened. I understand, but it's the wrong way to fight back. Of course, people are upset about the outcome, and I think all people know the outcome wasn't right. But you can't be mad. You got in the midst of the storm. You got to stay still. You got to, and you can tell the, the waters to be still. There's power in stillness. There's power in love. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.